Hello, welcome to our Firebird Database Administrator training covering the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School held by Holger Klemt and Jason Chapman as part of the International Firebird Conference 2007. This tutorial session continues directly on from the last one about indices by going into SQL optimization in a little more detail. We've already talked about how a piece of data gets from your hard disk onto the screen. And we've talked about index selectivity in tutorial Understanding Firebird Indices and Index Statistics. Basically the most expensive element of this is getting records out of the disk and into the cache and onto the results. What are we looking for? Are we looking for low reads, high fetches? High reads, low fetches? In terms of the volume of data that you can push through, which factors are we looking to reduce? Reads should be low. That's the minimum number of accesses to disk. Fetches from cache is relatively free. We're trying to reduce the number of reads from disk. Primary key fields should normally give you the best selectivity as they're unique. But even a primary key field may not always be an automatic recommendation as an index field if, for example, it's a lookup table with just three fields. How does Firebird process a query? SQLs are sent to the server where the optimizer first analyzes them which tables are involved and which indices are best to use, etc., preparing them for execution. The server needs to select a strategy for creating a result set. The parser it selects all tables involved and possible indices, usually selecting the index with the best selectivity, that is, the one resulting in the smallest result set. In Firebird, it's possible to use more than one index, which isn't possible in some other databases. Compound indices, on the other hand, should only be used when really necessary. An order by is no reason for using an index, because an order by always has something to do with output formats. Usually where conditions are used to limit the result set. Where and join conditions should certainly be supported by an index. If you specify an order by over several fields, the index needs to be composed in exactly the same sequence as the order by. Order by cannot accept compound indices composed of single indices. The index plan is made during the preparation, and it is at this stage that the optimizer selects in which sequence it will use the indices chosen. If the server cannot find a suitable index, it compiles a temporary sort quantity. Take into consideration that when the like command is used together with a wildcard because you're searching for a string that occurs somewhere in the field and not necessarily at the beginning, the optimizer cannot use an index. For example, select star from product where actor like x, where x is a parameter. When I prepare this, Firebird needs to assume the worst case scenario. For example, that I could enter a percent at the beginning of the parameter. For example, percent Stallone. In that case, it would need to check all 10,000 records because an index cannot be used for such a query. So as soon as you use like with a parameter, Firebird cannot use an index as the parameter is not yet known at the time of the statement prepare. All table data needed is read from the cache. If the pages required are not already in the cache, they need to be transferred from the hard disk to the memory. This is the most time-consuming part of the operation for the Firebird server. If this process appears to be somewhat slow, check the parameters in firebird.conf. Please refer to tutorials 15, log files and temp files, and 16, memory configuration, for further details. If I enter starting with Yuma, here you can see in the performance analysis that Firebird has performed 56 indexed reads. So always take care when using like parameters. After preparing your query, Firebird displays the query plan which can be viewed in the SQL Editor's Index Plan, visible in the Plan Analyzer. If a lot of non-index reads, highlighted in red, appear in the Performance Analysis, it is often helpful to create some indices, reopen the query, and check if it has been of help. Following preparation, if no changes are to be made, the query can be executed. When all data has been extracted and sorted accordingly, the result set is sent back to the client issuing the query. If only the first n records are to be fetched, the server only reads the required number of data pages. For certain commands, such as distinct and group by, the server must read all relevant data pages. So if distinct or group by are not really necessary, don't use them. Distinct is unfortunately often used when repeated result sets appear. If you're getting duplicate result sets, then you won't cure the root of the problem by adding a distinct. 
Go back and check your SQL joins. Check the performance analysis and use it to compare different versions of the same SQL. Analyze the reads, writes and fetches. Reads and writes are typically zero when Firebird can operate in the cache. Fetches are the internal operations in Firebird, so when one query is slower than the other, it may not be visible directly in the graphical view. For example, when Firebird creates external temporary sort files. Use the Plan Analyzer to analyze how the optimizer uses tables and indices to obtain the result set. If the word sort is displayed, you should check whether improvements to the query or indices are possible. Here we've prepared a small SQL. This is a good example to show which customer comes from which state, with total purchases and total sum. This is constructed using the product table, joined with the order line table, joined with orders and customer. And as I only need the items where special equals zero, I've grouped by customer state. So when I execute this, it takes 1.7 seconds. This value here, the fetches, is important. That's the reading record versions. Internally, that was 757,605 operations. In the performance analysis, I can see here that, for example, there were 59,000 operations performed on the customer table, 9,800 on the product table, and 59,000 on orders and order line. If I look at total records, though, I can see that customer and product only have 10,000 records each, and there were 59,040 reads on these tables. So I can see straight away that something is not quite right here. So I can go back and optimize the results a little. Here, just to show you, I've used the Firebird 2 feature, Derived Tables. So the second version optimized using derived tables. This here is an extreme example. Instead of going straight to the product table, I enter select star from product order by ID. By using this, I am forcing Firebird to approach product in the order of the ID. This way, I get the same results with less operations. You can see, more reads, less fetches, less indexed reads, and about 20% faster. This isn't a strategy that will work with all SQLs, but you can see in the performance analysis that now only 300,000 fetches were made, instead of the previous 757,605, and it was quicker. Although the Firebird Optimizer really does a very good job, especially since Firebird 2, the programmer can often offer the optimizer hints to help improve performance. Depending on the task in hand, a small change in the SQL statement can often improve the speed immensely. For example, consider using the plus zero field parameter to deactivate indices with a low selectivity. Perhaps derived tables can reduce the number of reads or fetches. Other factors affecting the performance of queries, such as hardware, operating system and memory configuration, index selectivity, etc., can be referred to in our other tutorials in this series for DB admins. So, that was our introduction to optimizing SQL commands. A transcript of this tutorial can be downloaded by all IB Expert registered full version holders from the customer download area at www.ibexpert.com. All topics presented here are also documented in detail on our website. We hope this tutorial has been of help to you and look forward to publishing our next topic in our series for DB Admins. Goodbye for now and thank you from all of us at IB Expert. <laughs>